a nationalist attack or an elaborate propaganda stunt? How and why these cars were torched are now key questions impacting Ukraine's future. Yuri says he was there when it happened. He's one of the many pro-Russian militants who now control the town of Slavyansk. He shows me where he says he helped fight off an attack on this checkpoint. Yuri says these were among four cars which approached before people got out and started shooting. This man says he was at the barricade when it came under fire. He says he saw his friend die before reinforcements arrived to help them. The new pro-Russian administration in Slavyansk says six people were killed in the shootout three from each side, and the surviving attackers fled in their remaining two cars. Everyone here says they know who to blame. Right sector, that's who attacked us, he says. Right sector is a Ukrainian ultra-nationalist group. Pro-Russians in Slavyansk say they recovered all of this from the attackers, including what they say is a right sector membership tag. Moscow also chimed in, accusing the government in Kiev of failing to rein in extremists. But right sector says that's not what their tags look like, and they deny being involved. And Ukraine's security service, the SBU, says its investigators on the ground aren't buying the pro-Russian story either. They believe pro-Russians staged the attack. Whatever happened here, it is already having a wider impact on efforts to talk down the uprisings across this region. The locals we've spoken to tell us because of this, they will not be persuaded to give up their weapons. This is the beginning of civil war. They wanted it. With this, they've got it, he says. But the pro-Russians don't want to fight a war alone. The self-declared mayor of Slavyansk, Vyacheslav Ponomarov, has asked Russian President Vladimir Putin to send peacekeepers to protect the town. And if not soldiers, he says, please send weapons and humanitarian aid. Once again in Ukraine, different versions of the truth are competing to be heard and both are fueling a crisis with no end in sight. Phil Black, CNN, Slavyansk, Eastern Ukraine.